Goat farming is a rewarding experience. Healthy goats provide milk, meat and fibre. To keep goats healthy, farmers need to understand inbreeding. Inbreeding occurs when closely related goats mate. This can lead to health problems in the herd. Inbreeding is like a recipe gone wrong. Just as a cake needs the right balance of ingredients, a healthy goat herd thrives on genetic diversity. When closely related goats mate, it's like adding too much of one ingredient, upsetting the balance and leading to unexpected and often undesirable results. Imagine a family recipe passed down through generations. Each generation might add a pinch of this or a dash of that, slightly altering the flavor. Similarly, each goat carries a unique set of genes and breeding introduces new variations into the mix. Inbreeding, however, restricts these variations, potentially amplifying undesirable traits. This essay will explore the intricacies of inbreeding in goat farming, examining its causes, consequences, and most importantly, prevention. By understanding this critical aspect of goat husbandry, farmers can ensure the well-being of their herds for generations to come. Inbreeding, in simple terms, is the mating of closely related individuals within a population. This practice, while sometimes used to maintain certain desirable traits, can have significant drawbacks. In the context of goat farming, this means breeding goats that share a common ancestor, such as parents, siblings, or even half-siblings. This close genetic relationship can lead to a number of issues that may not be immediately apparent. While it might not seem immediately problematic, the consequences of inbreeding can be far-reaching and detrimental to the health and productivity of a goat herd. Over time, these negative effects can accumulate, leading to a decline in the overall vitality of the herd. The risks associated with inbreeding stem from the basic principles of genetics. Understanding these principles is key to recognizing why inbreeding can be so harmful. Each goat carries a unique set of genes inherited from its parents which determine its physical characteristics, resistance to diseases and other traits. This genetic diversity is crucial for the health and resilience of the herd. When closely related goats mate, their offspring inherit a more limited gene pool, increasing the likelihood of inheriting identical copies of genes from both parents. This reduction in genetic diversity can have serious consequences. This increased homozygosity, as it's scientifically known, can lead to the expression of recessive genes, including those responsible for genetic disorders and health problems. These issues can manifest in various ways, from physical deformities to reduced fertility and increased susceptibility to diseases. These harmful genes are often masked in the presence of a dominant, healthy counterpart. However, when two closely related goats mate, the chances of both carrying the same recessive gene increase. Inbreeding increases the chances of both parents carrying and passing on the same recessive genes, making their expression in the offspring more likely. This can lead to a higher incidence of genetic disorders within the herd. Understanding the genetic mechanisms behind inbreeding is crucial for goat farmers to grasp the importance of maintaining genetic diversity within their herds. This knowledge can help them make informed breeding decisions. By avoiding the mating of related individuals, farmers can help ensure a broader gene pool, reducing the risk of genetic disorders and promoting the overall health and well-being of their goats. This practice not only benefits the individual animals, but also contributes to the long-term sustainability of the herd. Inbreeding can have a cascade of negative effects on a goat herd, impacting various aspects of their health, productivity and even survival. One of the most concerning consequences is the increased susceptibility to diseases. When the gene pool shrinks due to inbreeding, the goat's immune systems can become compromised, making them more vulnerable to infections and diseases. Furthermore, inbreeding can lead to a decline in reproductive efficiency. This can manifest as reduced fertility rates in both male and female goats, lower conception rates, and smaller litter sizes. In some cases, inbred does might experience difficult births or give birth to weak kids with a lower chance of survival. Another detrimental effect of inbreeding is the increased occurrence of genetic defects and abnormalities. These can range from physical deformities to internal organ problems, affecting the goat's overall health and well-being. In some instances, these genetic defects can be so severe that they lead to early mortality or require euthanasia. 
the negative impacts of inbreeding extend beyond individual goats, affecting the entire herd's productivity and profitability. Reduced milk yield, lower meat quality, and decreased fiber production are all potential consequences of inbreeding. In severe cases, the long-term sustainability of the herd might be jeopardized due to the accumulation of genetic problems. Section 4. Genetic Bottlenecks – A Shrinking Gene Pool Imagine a bottle filled with marbles, each marble representing a unique gene within a goat population. Each marble is crucial, contributing to the overall genetic diversity and health of the herd. Now imagine a situation where the bottle's neck narrows significantly, allowing only a few marbles to pass through. This narrowing represents a drastic reduction in genetic diversity. This is akin to a genetic bottleneck, a phenomenon that often occurs alongside inbreeding, further exacerbating its negative effects. The fewer the genes, the higher the risk of negative traits becoming prevalent. A genetic bottleneck refers to a sharp reduction in the size of a population, leading to a significant loss of genetic diversity. This reduction can have long-lasting impacts on the population's genetic health. This can occur due to various factors such as natural disasters, disease outbreaks or even human intervention like selective breeding practices. Each of these factors can drastically reduce the number of individuals in a population. When a population shrinks drastically, so does its gene pool, even if the population later recovers in number. The genetic diversity that was lost cannot be easily regained. The problem with genetic bottlenecks is that the surviving population might not be representative of the original population's genetic diversity. This lack of diversity can make the population more vulnerable to diseases and environmental changes. Some beneficial genes might be lost altogether, while others, including those carrying detrimental recessive traits, might become overrepresented. This imbalance can lead to a host of health issues within the population. Inbreeding, especially within a population that has undergone a genetic bottleneck, can amplify the effects of this reduced genetic diversity. The limited gene pool means that harmful traits are more likely to be passed on. When related individuals mate, they are essentially reshuffling a smaller deck of genetic cards, increasing the chances of harmful recessive genes pairing up and expressing themselves in their offspring. This can lead to a higher incidence of genetic disorders, this further compromises the herd's health, resilience and overall productivity. The long-term effects can be devastating, leading to a weaker population that struggles to thrive and reproduce effectively. Section 5. Visible signs recognizing inbreeding in your herd. Recognizing the signs of inbreeding in your goat herd is crucial for taking timely corrective measures. Inbreeding can lead to a host of problems that can affect the overall health and productivity of your herd. While some effects, like reduced fertility or increased disease susceptibility, might not be immediately apparent, other signs are more visible and can serve as red flags for potential inbreeding issues. These visible signs can help you identify and address the problem before it becomes more severe. One of the most noticeable signs is the appearance of unusual physical deformities or abnormalities in your goats. These deformities can vary widely but are often quite distinct and easy to spot. This could include asymmetrical facial features, crooked spines, limb deformities or any other unusual physical trait that deviates significantly from the breed standard. Such traits are often a clear indication that inbreeding has occurred. Another telltale sign is the consistent occurrence of certain health problems within the herd. These health issues can be chronic and may affect the overall vitality of your goats. For instance, if you notice a higher than usual incidence of respiratory infections, digestive issues or other health problems, especially among related goats, inbreeding could be a contributing factor. These health problems can reduce the lifespan and productivity of your goats. Reduced growth rates and lower body weights compared to breed averages can also be indicative of inbreeding. This can be particularly concerning for farmers who rely on their goats for meat, milk or fibre production. Inbred kids might exhibit slower growth and fail to thrive as expected even with adequate nutrition and care. This can be frustrating for farmers who put a lot of effort into ensuring their animals are well fed and healthy Similarly, a decline in milk production, meat quality or fibre yield, especially if consistent across related individuals, could point towards inbreeding. These declines can have a significant economic impact on your farming operation. 
It's important to remember that these signs are not always definitive proof of inbreeding. They are indicators that should prompt further investigation. Other factors such as nutritional deficiencies, environmental stresses or underlying diseases can also contribute to these problems. It's essential to consider all possible causes before concluding that inbreeding is the issue. However, if you observe several of these signs, especially in related goats, inbreeding should be considered a possible cause and further investigation is warranted. Consulting with a veterinarian or a livestock geneticist can help you determine the best course of action to address and mitigate the effects of inbreeding in your herd.